एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टू कंडक्ट स्पोर्ट्स डे एक्टिविटीज इन यूर रेक्टेंगुलर शेप्ड स्कूल ग्राउंड ए बी सी डी लाइन्स हैव बीन ड्रॉन विद चॉक पाउडर एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर ईच हंड्रेड फ्लावर पॉट्स हैव बीन प्लेस्ड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर फ्रॉम ईच अदर अलॉन्ग ए डी एस शोन इन द गिवन फिगर निहारिका रन वन फोर्थ द डिस्टेंस ए डी ऑन द सेकेंड लाइन एंड पोस्ट अ ग्रीन फ्लैग Preet runs one fifth distance AD on the eighth line and posts a red flag. What is the distance between both the flags? If Rashmi has to post a blue flag exactly halfway between the line segment joining the two flags, where should she post her flag? Now just look at the figure and try to understand. Okay, these are the rows one to ten. Now here, if you see here, these are the pots. and distance between each consecutive pot is 1 meter so this way this distance ad is 100 meter distance okay now what they said niharika she is on the second row here she runs 1/4 of the distance okay see this is she is on the second line she runs 1/4 of the distance of ad ad distance is how much 100 meter so 100 and 1/4 of it it means that 25 so this distance is 25 meter so if i want to write down the coordinate here of this point where c post a flag those coordinates are what 2 comma 25 right 2 comma 25 just try to understand it i'll just write down 2 comma 25 now here Preet is there. She covered one fifth of the distance of AD. So hundred into one fifth of it, which is twenty meter. So here, she is on the eighth line, and the coordinates where she posts the flag are eight comma twenty. Now I need to find out distance between these two points. Okay, first I will find out that. and then what later on they said rashmi has to post blue color flag exactly at the halfway between these two flags correct that means blue color flag is the midpoint of both of these flags okay see here i will just show you imagine this one here this is the position of the flags here first Flag is green color flag, so I'll write down G, and the coordinates are two comma twenty five. Second one is the red flag, and the coordinates are eight comma twenty. And third one is the here blue color flag, exactly between both the flags, and the coordinates we need to find out. I'll just write down X and Y. So exactly halfway. That means the ratio is one is two, one. Okay. so let us find out distance between g and r so here i will use the distance formula gr which is equal to the distance formula is what x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square okay now this one is x1 and y1 this one is x2 and y2 okay so here i'll just substitute the values Under root x two is what eight minus two bracket square and here y two is twenty minus twenty five and the bracket square see which is equal to under root six square plus this minus five square six square we know thirty six five square is twenty five and addition of these two numbers comes as under root sixty one. So distance between two flags is root sixty one meter. Now I need to get the coordinates of point B, right? So by using the midpoint formula. So I'll write down here by using midpoint formula x comma y. Now the formula is what x one plus x two by two and y one. Plus y two by two. See here, 
I will just substitute the values now, which is equal to x1 is 2 and then 8 by 2 here 25 plus 20 by 2, which comes as 10 by 2 and here 45 by 2. And finally, I will write down 5,22.5. So, Rashmi is going to post that uh, blue color flag at this position. Question number 4. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3, 10 and 6, minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6. See here, I have named the points A and B. Point P is dividing this line segment in the ratio m is to n. Okay, so I will just name these points and the coordinates as x1, y1 here. This is x2, y2. Okay, and this one is x, y. Now point P is dividing AB in the ratio m is to n. And I need to get the ratio. To get the ratio, I need to use the section formula. Okay, section formula just use for either x coordinate or for y coordinate. So, we will get the ratio. So, here I will write down x which is equal to m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. Now, see I will just substitute the values here. x is minus 1 which is equal to m x2 is 6 n x1 is minus 3 divided by m plus n. This m plus n I will send to the left hand side to get multiplied with minus 1. So, we get here minus m minus n which is equal to 6 m minus 3 n. Now, minus m minus 6 m and here minus 3 n plus n. See, minus 7 m which is equal to minus 2 n. From both the sides we can remove the negative sign and here m divided by n. This n is multiplying here it will come down to divide and this 7 is also multiplying here it will go that side to divide. So, here m by n which is equal to 2 by 7. See we got the ratio here. Therefore, m is to n which is equal to 2 is to 7. We got the ratio, right?